10 years ago, the only way that you could build software was through using an IDE or a code editor that looked like this and is pretty daunting. But now the way we build software in the modern age in 2025 is by having a conversation with a chat box that looks like this. Now, what we're gonna do in this video is briefly explain what a token is and how it uses a large language model to predict the next token to help you build out your website or application. So I wanna show you a quick example. If I open up ChatGPT and I type in here, Paris is, what it's going to do, it's going to predict the next thing that I want to come out. So here is the response. Paris is a living poem, a city where centuries of art, etc. So that's how it works. And what we can do is actually speak to Bolt just using that nat natural language with words, and it will go and build us an app. Now, if I was to go and build something in Bolt, I'd probably paste something like this if I was just getting started. Build me a cool site. Now, this prompt is going to be broken down and it's going to comprise of a number of tokens. Now you can see up here, I have a balance of 115 million point eight, one one five point eight million tokens remaining. And every piece of information that I put into Bolt and the information that comes out of Bolt in terms of code is going to consume my token. So how do we know how many tokens it's going to consume? Well, what we can do is we can copy this and go to this site. It's called Tick Tokenizer. Now, if I paste this prompt into here, you can see that the token count is five. Build me a cool site. But you can see that each token has a numerical value and it also includes the spaces as well. So let's try something else. Let's expand on this prompt. Let's click this enhance prompt button. This is gonna give us a more in-depth prompt. And if I paste this in, it's going to show this token count 213 tokens. Now you can see each of these represents a different token and you can see how it's broken down by the colors. Now, the more in depth, the prompt, the more tokens it's going to use, but the more tokens it's going to save down the line as you're going to be building your app with less errors, it's going to be more comprehensive and the LLM is going to have more information to build your application from. So, now, if we go back into Bolt, rather than writing a prompt like this, which is quite general, it doesn't give much information. Why don't you imagine that you're speaking to an actual developer to break it down into a couple of different parts. And one thing I like to do is break it down like this into a task, the context, the constraints and the output. So let's say we could do build a single page portfolio site context. I'm a UX designer. The constraints could be tailwind only, but you could do black and white only. And the output could be live preview in the style, in the style of Apple and Notion. There is a bit more information that you can give to Bolt to actually go ahead and start building your application. So once you've sent that, Bolt's gonna go away and start building out your website or app. So the more information that you give Bolt upfront, the better the output's gonna be. So if you can actually think through your idea in your head, who you are, what you do, what's the objective of the website, who you want to appeal to, what's the colorway, put that into the conversation. Actually just have a chat, have a conversation with this text box and you're going to get really good output. So here we go. We've got a nice clean portfolio for a UX designer here. We've got some projects. We can add some images, some skills and expertise, tools and technologies, and it pretty much followed the prompt that we gave it. So when you're using tokens, remember, Use more tokens up front to give it more information to better guide the outputs. And if you want to follow this framework, you can. It's task, context, constraints, and output, and that will give you better apps and websites. Hope you enjoyed this video and catch you on the next one.